Hi, I'm Ross, Lifetime Natural Bodybuilder, and this is part three of my current full body training regime. It's a three day a week frequency, and this session we start off with um, an upper back movement. So if you haven't watched the first two videos, the links will be in the description box below, so check those out if you haven't. So as I said, the first exercise for upper back, originally we had uh, chin up scheduled, but both of us are suffering with a little bit of inner elbow inflammation, typical golfer's elbow symptoms. So chin ups are really troublesome when it comes to dealing with elbow inflammation. Uh, they just become really niggly and painful. Uh, supinated grip, so palms in will be the worst. Neutral grip is kind of okay. Pronated tends to be the, the less painful if you have golfer's elbow. Pull downs will generally be, uh, any grip that you use, a lot more comfortable. We chose a um, hammer grip, so a neutral grip palms in with a D bar. And it's positioned in such a way that we have to lift from a dead start each rep so we take momentum out of the movement therefore it's very easy to track performance and to um, you know see progress over the next few weeks because there's no momentum involved at all so keeping the form as tight as possible um, the incline bench is to follow it's not a main exercise for this day so keeping the reps fairly high um, 15 plus 80 kilos on the incline i think i managed 16 not too difficult um, and that's really only second in exercise order because I don't want to be doing chest and then shoulders after the stiff leg deadlift. So we kind of use stiff leg deadlift to um, give the front delts a rest in between those two movements. So now we come on to the stiff leg deadlift, the second heavy compound movement um, that we do during this session. This is on a deficit, so we have two plates underfoot to increase the range of motion, to increase the stretch of the hamstrings. Um, and this is 165 kilos for eight reps, felt pretty good. Um, hamstrings are definitely improved as a consequence of doing regular stiff leg deadlifts over the last couple of years or so. Um, before my quads were, were a real strong point from heavy squatting, like consistent high frequency squatting with narrow stance form, my quads exploded, as did my glutes, but my hamstrings um, really didn't start to grow until I very regularly started to train hamstrings multiple um, sessions per week and focusing on stiff leg deadlifts. I think there's a lot to be said of um, neglecting a body part when you first start out on your journey. Um, and it becomes very troublesome to kind of bring it back up to match your other body parts because you're, you're not growing it in the phase where you can make the most growth you know those first couple of years of training you know i never really trained hamstrings i didn't even know about hamstrings when i first started so while i'm doing things like leg press and and squats and stuff and, and this and that i'm neglecting the back side of my legs so it's been hard to kind of bring that back up to to make the quads but they're getting there um so we do some shoulder press then just standard sets of 10 um nothing too crazy there and as we go through the following few weeks the intensity of of these exercises will increase and we'll take more of the sets past failure. So now to finish up with arms, we're just doing a little superset here. Concentration curls, a really underused exercise, a classic exercise in my opinion. Um, I never really did these too much in the past, um, but as I have started to concentrate more on the movement and the static contraction, I've realized that it is a really good exercise, especially when you try to hold at the top for half a second or so, um, it makes a big difference. When I'm doing these, I'm trying to focus on curling the dumbbell into the bicep, almost like I'm, I'm curling my wrist round to really close that angle, rather than curling upwards towards the top of my delt. And that makes a big difference in terms of how I feel the exercise, how I feel the contraction on the bicep head. So these are the uh, uh, laying tricep extensions. And you can see here by this position, I'm actually allowing the dumbbell to drop down past the shoulder. A big mistake when people do these is that the bottom of the dumbbell will hit the front delt if you're coming down in a vertical line. So you need to just twist the wrist subtly outwards, allowing the dumbbell to drop outside the shoulder whilst keeping your upper arm more or less stable and tight in um, to the center of your torso. Really, really good way of increasing the stretch on the exercise, increasing its difficulty. Um, and it just generates a much better pump and a much better feeling in the triceps. One of my favorites. So that's the three days. I'll produce some more videos over the next couple of weeks that will show more training and how I advance the routine, increase the intensity or the volume to suit as I 
um, hopefully gain a few more kilos over the next few weeks. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more true natural bodybuilding videos. Check out my Instagram as well. The link is in the description box below. Stay strong.